Advanced Windows Care from Iovit, just run the installer, click next, accept the agreement and follow through on the prompts. If you want to create a quick launch or you want to add Iovit to your favourites, tick those boxes. Untick the Yahoo toolbar and make Yahoo my default search engine. You really don't need them. Just click next and follow through. You can view the update history if you want to. It's a text file. When you click finish, it'll take you to the home page. Now, when you exit that, the program opens up. You select your language. You have a choice of colors, black or white. We'll stick with white. And when you click next, it automatically scans for spyware removal, registry fix, privacy sweep, and junk files cleaner. You can click on them and see what it's going to remove. So you can override this. Click repair and it creates a backup which you can roll back if you have any problems. Now if you click on settings, registry fix, this will show you what it scans for in the registry. Privacy sweep, go through these. If you save your passwords, then obviously you need to untick the saved form information. Uh, the internet cache you need to tick, history, download history, etc. Recent documents is unticked by default. Uh, I prefer to tick that and click apply when you've done this. Junk files, tick the Windows Recycle Bin and enable secure file deletion. Automated care. Now, there are three options there. It's set on disabled. If you want to have any of the others, you have to purchase the pro version. Automated sweep, again, this works alongside the pro version. System optimization, if you want to use anything else apart from the basic, you have to upgrade. So you can leave that as it is. If you're on a network domain, tick this box. Disk defrag, you can skip files over one gigabyte and you can decide at what fragmentation rate you want to start the defrag at. Enable smart defrag, again you need to upgrade to the pro version. Update, check for updates when the program starts. Backup. It backs up all of these, the spyware, security, registry and optimization. And you can set the number of files stored and create a restore point at startup every day. Ignore list. You can ignore specific items in the spyware, registry, system optimization and cookies. The user interface. You can change the transparency. And this is entirely a personal thing click apply, you come back, have a look and you see it's slightly transparent. So I will go back and I will change it back to its default setting which is a bit more solid. Here again you can change your colors, you can change your language and click OK or apply. Utilities. Uh, you have the check disk which is the same as the Windows check disk. Disk cleaner, you can select your drive and it will remove any unnecessary files that it finds on your computer. You can click on them, you can find out what they are and click next, remove now and you have the choice to back up and delete, remove to recycle bin or delete permanently. I'll remove them to the recycle bin. Click remove now and that's it finished. Game Booster. This is a separate application which if you click on it it will take you to iobit's home page and you can download this absolutely free. Internet Booster. Now auto optimization is recommended. Now if you know if or if you're a bit more savvy then tick the expert mode and click go and you have your general settings change your bandwidth to whatever your bandwidth is. Optimize TCP IP and if you're using Firefox you know, you just click on that, you can more or less leave these as they are. And the same with all of those settings, just click optimize Firefox and let it run. And that's it. For most users, the auto optimization, just click go, choose your bandwidth, click optimize and let it run. And it does the work for you. IOBIT Security 360 is a beta program which I will cover at another time. It's not included in this, it's a separate program, as is Smart Defrag. 
I bet register defrag I will come back to smart RAM uh, this can release small amounts of memory in this case no memory has been released on the smart clean on the deep clean it's released two megabytes wow I'm excited the shortcut fixer this will search for invalid shortcuts and if it finds any you have the option to delete them you know they play no purpose in a lot of cases you can safely delete them now the defrag if you click next they suggest that you disable your antivirus before, anal before analyzing it and allow it to run it takes a bit longer than this I've speeded it up it's been defragmented it doesn't need to be defragged at this time so I can come out of that quite safely security driver backup you can select all of your drivers and back them up Internet Explorer security assistant you can check your context menus explorer bars, toolbars, extra buttons browser helper objects, download ActiveX and Internet Explorer settings and you can modify any of those as you seem fit the backup uh, is pretty much the same as using system restore and system file checker to use this you will need the Microsoft Windows installation DVD to restore any incorrect files if you have an OEM version this will not work so be very careful with that admin tools you can go to the context menu manager and you can add or remove items from the right click disk explorer this will find what files are taking the most space on your drive and the size of them now most of these you would not want to delete be very careful with these you can look at the contents or you can see the top 100 files and it shows you the size of them restore center this is the backup it created you can create a restore point, you can view system restore, you can change the settings you can also undo the changes you can delete the backups if you undo the changes it just rolls it back to what it was before it did its scan software uninstaller uh, it's not one of my favorites, I prefer Revo uninstaller but it's there if you want it Startup Manager, you can use this to control your startup items. System Information will give you an overview of your computer's configuration. Um, it takes just a little while to go through and pick it up. Windows Manager, here you can go through the Process Manager and see what processes are running, the System Service, TCP, UDP, uh, Software Uninstaller and Cookies Manager and this is useful at times the auto shutdown you can schedule it to shut down or restart your computer at a specified time cloned files you can scan your drive and find duplicated files you can specify the file types you can add or remove file types and you can scan all the files in the disks so if you have a lot of duplicates it could be useful you can add them uh, BMP, SCR and so on and the scan takes a while I'll come out of this because I know there are no duplicates there it's not a bad program you know if you go onto diagnose system and it will optimize the system it will look at security defense defrag and security analyze, analyzer you can also check for updates, use the iobit server which is quicker click finish maintain windows takes you back to that one and here you go to the overview and it shows you it's the free version, it shows you what version you have, if you click on the center button then it takes you back to scan again if you want more information check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk